Hey, why isn't my mower priming? What? Well, it's time to figure that one out. After you've checked your spark, fuel, and compression, those are the three things that you need in order to run a lawnmower. What? Or any other engine in there, for that matter. But uh, if you know you have spark and you got good compression, you need a little bit of fuel to start. And how the Briggs and Stratton, at least these quantum engines you do it, is they have a primer bulb in the front that you'll depress and you'll see the fuel come to the top. We'll open up here, you got a 5 16 bolt that you'll take off, remove the air filter cover. I'm still drawing my stick. And then you'll have these two, three 5 16 that are right here that you'll remove also to get that off. Yeah. Oh, look, here, that's cool. Come, come behind, Talon. Over here. And then you can be in the video. Okay. Now the first reason that you wouldn't be priming is because there's obviously just no fuel contained inside. So check to see to make sure you have gas inside there. Uh, second reason is that you got a bad primer bulb. Uh, you might have a rip or there's a tear. Something's wrong with your primer bulb. Inspect it to make sure that it's solid. And if it's not replaced, of course, you might have a dirty carburetor. Maybe your carburetor's just full of gunk and that's gonna stop it so clean out your carburetor before you go into this and if that still doesn't work check to see if you have a bad bull seal um, it's always a good measure to replace the bull seal if you're gonna be cleaning out your carburetor anyway on these Briggs and Stratton's if you take the bull and put it on the carburetor and twist it sometimes it'll create a good seal but always good measure to replace that and lastly, your air cleaner gasket. Now we're getting to the down and dirty. I'm gonna show you a trade secret that I've come up with myself that has helped me tremendously. Right now, even with the gasket in place, I don't have any priming going on here. Show ya. I'm pushing it in, and I got nothing coming up. It should be bleeding out like a fountain through that center piece inside there. But as you can tell, nothing. So, I'll go ahead and remove this and show you the technique that I use that will help it to prime properly. It's actually very simple. I'm going to use a sticker to make this happen. But the best thing to use is some masking tape. Now the gasket on mine is stuck to the carburetor itself and that's okay. Here's the back side of where that gasket goes and how this works is the air is pushed from the priming bulb through this passageway into the top here which connects to that hole right there. But this gasket doesn't help much for that passageway. It doesn't seal all the holes and sometimes the air escapes and doesn't go into the bottom of the bowl and then shove the gas up through the top. So what you do is you take a little bit of sticker like I have here or masking tape preferably if you have it. I'm very resourceful and can do a lot with a little. And then you'll put it right there. And then, right here, Talon, I got your sticker right here. You'll leave the top part of it, that little part right there, open. If you can see that. And what that's doing, when you put these two bolts in place, it'll seal this sticker against the plastic. So no air will escape. All right. Now, I'm gonna fold this over. So we'll be able to see, once I shove this back on, the completed effect. All right. So, get my three bolts. And pop them inside here. One, two. That's all I need. 
need to show you that this is working. All right, my 516s for the bolts. That. And that. I'm gonna peel or push down the remainder of the sticker. And then we'll see the action. I need to press the bulb. Best picture there. You can see a fountain coming out. See that? That's what you want. That's what'll get your lawnmower to start first pull.